Hello YouTube, I'm going to be showing you how to be using the new color name 1.1.0 except since it's zero I didn't put it added on um, the per, not the permissions, um, what is it called? Oh yes, config, configuration. So, if you come into your plugins folder, you obviously have this there, you can do that on how to use this. Um, 1.0, um, the first one, and the second one are all the same except this one has a config file because someone voted for this, so I added it. So, you'll go ahead and run your server. No errors pop up. That's a good thing. So, now you're going to have this folder, and it's going to have this config file in it. So, this config file has several things. And so, I don't have to zoom up the video. I'm just going to zoom it in right here. So, color set. This, uh, it's, this is the message that it will send to the player when they set their color. This is the message it will send to the player when they set their color back to default, or type slash color reset. This is the um, this is for when ad this is the message that gets sent to the admin when they change another player's name. This is the message that gets sent to the player when an admin changes their name name color. Sorry, and color set by admin to admin default. Kind of long there. It's just makes it easier to define it so by admin and to default uh, by admin to admin so that means that this is the message that is sent to the admin when they set another player's color to default and this is for what is sent to the player when admin changes their color back to default so now for the little text part, as you probably saw, there's these percent signs, and I could change them for percents, I could make them dollars, well you can't, you can't do this, but I could make it so it's like this, or this, or this, or this, or this, or anything really. Um, but I use percent since that's what most other people use, and if you and most people are familiar with the percent, and then a letter after it. Uh, so I'm going to explain that real fast, you're not going to want to take that out, you can take it out but it doesn't really matter so color set to this so you change your color say you type slash say you go in here and you go ahead and type slash color red it's going to say color set to red and if I go back into here color set to that's this message right here then this is the color that you change it to. So, it, in this case, when I change it to red, it's, it's going to say red. But if I change it to blue, it's going to say blue. So it switches out this right here with whatever color. So, let's say you want to make this it like this. It, whatever color it is, is your new color. So, um, now I'm just going to go ahead and save that and reload. I'm not going to go do everything else. So, now if I come back to here and I type cult slash color blue, blue is your new color. So, that's what it says now. And then, if I do any other color, it says gray is your new color and so on. And then the other part in here is your name color has been set to default white that I would you can change the message up but there's no percent signs in it and it's just color set to default that this is the message that it sends to player when it gets turned back to the default color which is white and you just have to change that message no, nothing advanced about that and then for color set by admin to admin it, this is the player. This is the player that the admin has changed, and this is the color that the admin has changed it to. So, for instance, let's say I go back to here and I type slash color my name since no one else is on um, red. For Seth Eleven's name, color has been changed to red. Color set to red by an admin, and that message is right here name color has been changed to red and this message is sent to me since I changed since I was an admin and I changed my own name color it says color set to um, 
this color right here, same thing as this one and this one, except by an admin. So these are just where the program will, or the plugin, will switch it out with something else. So if, say, you can do the same thing here. You can do um, the name color of has been changed to and then the color so the name color of the person has been changed to whatever color they change it to and then you can go ahead and put a period at the end so if, if I save at that time and I reload And I come back here, and I now type the exact same thing. It says, color set to red by an admin. Oh, that's the one I didn't change. It says, name color of Forsyth 11 has been changed to... Or, the name color of Forsyth 11 has been changed to red. And I haven't changed this bottom one yet, so let's go ahead and do that. So, color set to whatever color it is by an admin. Color... An admin has set your color to... I'll make it that an admin has set your color to then whatever color it is so you can switch this up however you want it just I, pref I think you should really leave in the parts whoa 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 um, <laughs> try to talk while typing and I'm not good at multitasking okay so this time if I do it the second message will, would have changed an admin has set your color to red. So, if you you can put it that way if you like the um, color to be at the end. And now if I go back to here, there's one other thing. If I set it to default, oh, I, I still didn't. I forgot to show you one other part. Um, um, oh yeah, set to default. Blah 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 blah. Um, if I do color slash reset, which resets my color says your name color has been set to default white I'm not gonna have to go over that at all because it, it, it's just this right here just want to show you that that works so what was oh yes this is the same thing as before on everything else I'm not gonna go over this it's st still the player for um, changing it back to the default and for this one you obviously don't need something you just need to say it by an admin so, that's all for today. I hope this, for using the config, has turned out useful. Oh, one last thing. If you do not know how to reset it to default, it's super simple. Take this folder right here where the config file is. Or, if, if there were, you can do this for any plugin, pretty much, unless you changed a whole bunch of stuff and you don't want it to stay changed, and you don't want it to be unchanged, you just go into here and select which config file you want. In this case, it's just one. So, I'm just going to delete this. If I delete this, the plugin will regenerate that. And it will be set back to default. As you can see, now this has been set back to default. And this has been set back to default. And if those were set back to default, that means everything else was. So, that's how you set it back to default. Real simple. And please like, subscribe, and... I don't have that many views on my videos, that's because I don't like advertising, I don't like taking much time to edit my videos, I just like getting them out there with information, so if you can, just share it with other people that think this plugin will be useful. The plugin link is in the description if you're not watching this on the bucket page, and I hope, and once again, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Goodbye.